100. This is my 26th year. Michelle? <laughs> right? Um, so we're going to talk about SAMR today and what it looks like in District 100. I'm going to be talking a lot at you, and I wish it was a little bit different, but I need to make sure that everyone's on the same page and everyone is getting the same information, especially the people who weren't here last year when we started this. SMART doesn't stand for SMART Board, it stands for SAMR Model Action Research Team. We were asked by Apple to be one of 19 school districts in the United States to do action research with their support. So last February, Dr. Fields, Mary Havis, and Shannon Silver went to a training. It was one of our cold and snowy days that we had off. And they learned about what does it look like to do action research in a one-to-one -one district or an Apple Distinguished program, I guess, is actually what, what they did. So then they came back and asked the coaches to help with the implementation. And um, the goal is to, the goal of the action research is to, um, let me think now. Those research questions are always, remember, from graduate school, always big and, and overarching. To uh, look at how SAMR, as a common language, impacts teaching and learning and the overall school experience, I believe is what, what it, it says. So, the goal, you know, we have PBIS in our district, and everybody knows what a major, what a minor is, what Swiss is, how do we... You know the B statements, all those things, and so it, it's you know everyone knows that. So that's what we're looking for here with SAMR is to use for that to become embedded in the culture of the district, and everyone knows what it is that we're talking about. Um, and someone asked me last year when we first started this, well, does that mean we're getting rid of Common Core? We're doing something else now? No, absolutely not. Common Core is the backbone. And we will use that to guide the teaching and learning to meet the standards and, and how do we assess students, you know, how do we set up our objectives. SAMR is a reflective tool to be used on top of that to help integrate the technology. Right? Because we feel that um, the one-to-one -one is what makes, um, it gives us the ability to truly differentiate, differentiate our instruction. And so using the technology to help us um, get to the top level of SAMR can only benefit the students. So um, in order to do the action research, we've involved teachers, admin, students, and parents. We surveyed um, all the four stakeholders last spring, and we will be sending out a survey again next I believe next Wednesday morning, and we're asking again, it'll be another two-week window, so it'll take us all the way up to Thanksgiving break, and we are asking that teachers, students, so we'll be asking you to take that with your students again, teachers, students, pushing it out to parents, and then the administrators take it as well. So I am going to share with you all the link to this presentation that I'm giving right now after I'm done, and in fact, if some of you were curious, Dr. Fields had sent out my follow-up email to the Irving staff, so if you had clicked on that a couple of days ago, you would have seen this presentation that I'm doing now when you looked at that. So the June, the, the data that we collected in the spring, very quickly, from admins, they found out that they wanted more targeted training in their building, they wanted support from, from the coaches, which is why I'm here. Um, the teachers said that they are using it, they would like to be using it more, and they of course wanted more training and support and more resources. So we are working on building a repository for the resources, although we have a good one started and that would be the toolbox, of, uh, I'm sorry, well mostly the fridge with, with, with finished products in it. The parents said that their kids, that, that having the devices positively impacted their kids' motivation and attendance at school, and they felt like their kids were building a lot at home on the devices. But when we asked the children, they said that they were doing more content creation at school and more drill and skill at home, 
And so we're looking this year to really pick that up, where the kids are doing more content creation at home as well as in school. And as everyone, but we're in the beginning stages, so as everyone gets a better grasp at this, we're hoping that you know trajectory will just go up. So that's sort of a summary. Again, if you click on that link, you can, if you're a data person who just loves data and loves surveys and what all that has to say, you can take a look at that. So we decided that just like any good initiative in District 100, we needed district, uh, we needed building contact people. That usually everything that we do here, since we have, we are so spread out in eight buildings, and you know that sometimes you feel like you're an island, sometimes onto your classroom or onto your building, you don't know what's going on everywhere else. So it is the champion's job to be the go-to person and the contact sort of to the outside world, if you if you will. So the people in this building are Katie, Jen, no. Jessica, why do I do that I all the time? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Jessica and Laura. So they will be helping to... Um, another thing that we really want the champions to do is help to spread your success. So however that looks in this building, uh, the, the I know this building is really big on the positive, uh, what, what, like what B just did, the appreciations or... Um, you know, Twitter, Facebook, however that looks in this building. Um, so I'm going to play this video for you. This is how Zammer um, looks in District 100. Shannon made this. Um, the beginning is a little soft. Whoops. Beginning is a little soft, so you have to listen closely. Maybe I can get it to be louder. Has worked in the state of Maine and says that there is a relationship between the use of technology and learning outcomes. Thus, he created the SAMR model. The SAMR model has four levels. Substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. Substitution is when technology acts as a direct substitute with little or no functional improvement. For example, using a smart notebook file as a substitute on paper notebook. Augmentation is when technology acts as a direct tool of substitute with functional improvement. For example, using an iPad and QR coded dice to generate a math problem. Modification is when technology add allows for significant task redesign. For example, this student created a Makey Makey using his laptop and a few other tools. Redefinition is when technology allows for the creation of new tasks previously inconceivable. For example, the hashtag bike with bike movement is where a PE teacher took students and staff on a bike ride with a GoPro camera to, court to create a virtual reality bike ride video. Furthermore, the teacher connected with a broader community using YouTube and Twitter in hopes of having other people join his movement. We're all new at this. There's not going to be anyone that's going to come into your classroom and say, Oh my gosh, I can't believe you put in your lesson plans that you're doing a augmentation and it's really modification or redefinition. How how could you be like, you know, how can you do that? No, that's 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 not what's gonna happen. There are no SAMR police. Um, we really want you to just start talking about it in your team meetings or with your with your partner um, or at a building meeting. That's the only way we're going to get better at this, is if you just start, you know, bring up a lesson. Talk about where you think it is. And, and, and then the next thing would be, and so we had this guy, Dan Schmidt, in here when we first went one-to-one. -one. He was an Apple surgeon. He was the Apple, he was the, he came in from Apple to, he was, you know, from Apple to train us. And he, People kept saying, oh, we can't do this, oh, this is so hard, oh, I don't know how I'm ever going to get there. And he said, 
you know, look, this is, you need to honor where you are, so it's okay to be where you are, honor where you are, and make a goal to get to the next level. And what you need to ask yourself or what you need to ask your teammates is what technology tool is appropriate for me to add to this lesson or this unit to do that, to get up to the next level. That's all we're asking you to do is just start having these conversations about this. Um, and I should have probably said before that is that don't use technology for technology's sake. We've never done that here. There is no, another thing that we talked about as a team is, you know, Shannon had that. So this, so substitution is the biggest at the bottom and has the, you know, pretty much the, the biggest space in the triangle because you are going to be at substitution most of the time. It's just, you know, augmentation. You know, in order to do a research project, the kids have to just look things up on the internet. That's substitution. That's okay. Your end goal is to have them share it out with a touch cast or something like that. That's going to get you above the line. That's your ultimate objective, your ultimate goal, part of what you're going to assess at the end. But you have to start somewhere. So that substitution is going to be the most, and then augmentation a little less of the time, modification and redefinition. And they're going to build on each other. And I was in a classroom last year, and it took us about six or seven weeks with first graders to get up to a redefinition project. You know, there, was, there were a lot of moving parts there. Um, and so don't, there's, there, you know, we never said like, you should be on substitution 80% of the time, augmentation 5% of the time, modification 2% of the time, and redefinition 1% of the time. There is none of that. So don't feel that kind of pressure either. And so the big thing is, and it took us a long time to formulate this statement, so I put it in blue and I'm going to read it exactly as it is. We use it because we want kids to show their thinking and demonstrate their understanding through the differentiation we are afforded with the technology that we have. Right? My big push this year and the coach's big push this year is to find apps for kids to demonstrate their thinking and understanding. Not just drill and skill like IXL. And, you know, we have to do that, but we want to get to that higher level and using those uh, apps for thinking that demonstrate their thinking and understanding are, wanting, are what are going to get you above the line. And also, that's another thing. We just want you to get above the line. A lot of times there's a lot of, even with us, well, what makes that redefinition what the, and what's the difference between modification and redefinition? Where's where that fine line? Don't, it's okay, don't get caught up in that little minutia there. Just, you know, integrating more technology is going to help the kids demonstrate their thinking and understanding. So we, we're asking you again to share what you're doing. Um, again, Google Plus, we all have access to Google Plus. So the, the toolbox and the fridge are great places for you to go for resources, the toolbox to find apps that might be appropriate, the fridge to share out what you're doing. Okay, and then if you're on Twitter, we are asking you to use the hash in, in both places actually to ask use the hashtag SamRD100. If you're if you're posting it on Twitter, it would be great for you to put the level like augmentation and then SamRD100. If you don't have room for for both, then SamRD100. Sometimes you know 140 characters just doesn't seem to be enough. Um, if you tag me, if you take a picture of the kids doing it or working in the app, and you tag me or the district in the in the photo, then I will be sure to respond to you and and possibly retweet it if I haven't met my retweet limit for the day. I've been told I retweet too much, but I get so excited because I think everyone's doing such cool things. Not for my personal account, but I do the district social media. If, if you didn't know, um, so. Again, just to keep the conversation going, to get people to see examples. Um, in one of the other buildings, someone said, well, that's just one more thing for me to do. And I, you know, and can I go to other schools and see what 
teachers are doing. I encourage you in your building to go see, you know, talk with your peers, to go see them during your plan time if they are agreeable. We are asking 300 staff members to do this. Probably traveling between buildings is not as feasible, um, but that's up to your building level administrator. Um, you know, if you are a new teacher, you have the benefit of being in the mentor program, so that's something that you can look for or ask for when you're going to observe someone else. And well, um, can I just add that if you want to make it happen, we will make it okay. happen. Okay, great. If that's you want to make it happen, we'll make it happen. And if you're looking for some example classrooms at your grade level or around your grade level, I can help you with that as well. This is just an example of Jenny Lahotsky, one of the um, other instructional coaches, sharing out something that was done, and this was actually next door. It is a substitution level project, and that was one of the reasons we also chose just to share this as an example is because it's okay to be at substitution, but you know that, and so that's that's where we're starting. Um, the, if you just Google SAMR, you, this is what you're going to find, right? And again, we're just trying to get uh, above the line where tech is allowing for significant task redesign. And I just want you to remember that 20, about 20 years ago, uh, QR codes, I would consider QR codes now, and Shannon had it in the video, depending on your objective, augmentation, possibly modification. Um, and um, But 20 years ago, it redesigned the way that a, an auto parts place inventory their whole uh, inventory, or the way they did their inventory, because it was brand new technology, right? So not you have to think about that as well, it was a huge aha moment for me is that redefinition is sort of this moving target, you know, but it, it, we're in the information age, things, as you know, technology is changing so fast, what was redefinition 20 years ago is now augmentation, again, depending on your objective, now. So, just know that Again, we're always just trying to move along that continuum. It's a continuum. You're just trying to move along that continuum. So what, what we're going to do now is, uh, well, let me just, um, let, let me go over this and then we'll, oh, I'm doing really good on time too. So the challenge is going to be that sometime in the month of November, we would love for you to share out to the fridge or on Twitter, again, label it. Pictures are encouraged, but are totally optional, and you should always be thinking, what tech tool could I add to this lesson to move it up one more level on the SAMR ladder? So that's the challenge that I'm leaving you with. Um, we would love for as many of you that feel comfortable to participate in that. And then what we're going to do now is I'm going to pass out the SAMR cards at your desks, at your tables. Um, so you can just you want to go with them or swing around. Um, and there are five cards, and basically they're the, the ones, the top one is a direction card. Shannon made these before she left, um, and they are just four levels on SAMR. Please put them in order. And this presentation, just real quick, has a lot of resources in it. And, um, the you know, I put this in here. Whoa, sorry. She's... Um, I put this in here because people were like, I don't even know where to start. I'm not crazy about these things. I'm really not. Because, again, it goes back to your objective and what you're assessing. But if you need a jumping off point, perhaps this is something you'll want to take a look at. And um, the coaches are here to help you, and so are your, well, that's it. The coaches are here to help you, and so are your champions. Please use us, email us, feel free to contact us, and we'll do our best to, to get you what you need. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.